Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This is the first video tutorial on the Fathom software synthesizer. Fathom is a VST plugin. It was designed especially for electronic dance music, which typically can require complex modulations. Um, the synthesizer is fully modular. It currently offers six different oscillators, 30 different filters, and five different effects. The modulation matrix is interesting because it essentially gives you the ability to assign multiple modulators to a single dial and you can assign multiple dials to a single modulator. So you got a lot of versatility there. This is the introductory video so I'm basically going to be showing you how to get started using the synthesizer. The first thing we're going to want to do is download it so let's just do that right now. You go to fathomsynth.com and the very last selection here is the download page. We'll go to the end of the download page and there's a button here to download the zip file. We're going to be downloading the uh, free monophonic version of the synthesizer. So let's just do that. This will only take a couple seconds because it's only it's a relatively small file. I think it's like 20 meg. So once that's finished downloading, uh, we no longer need the website. Let's um, we'll go to our download folder, wherever that may be right click on the zip file, cut it, and we're going to paste it into our plugin folder, which is probably going to be different for everyone, um, but mine happens to be right here. So I'm going to paste the zip file into my plugin folder, and obviously I'll extract it here. And once I'm, once I'm done that, I don't really need the zip file anymore, so we can just delete it. Uh, yes. <laughs> and the zip file extracted, um, and all it did was create the Fathom folder under your plugin folder. And that folder is going to obviously contain the VST DLL itself. That's the plugin DLL. And it will also include two folders you'll see here, which um, fact, uh, programs contains the uh, factory presets, and there's also a folder for all the waveforms. And you got at least a hundred waveforms here and when you load these into the instrument incidentally you can edit them and we'll get into that later so now that the installation is essentially complete I'm going to show you how to get things started in two digital audio workstations we're going to do this in both Ableton and Cubase let's close that let's go to Ableton Live 9 Ableton Live 9 is a digital audio workstation that's really popular. I think they actually have almost 25% of the market share. But in Ableton, you want to go to Options, Preferences, and I think it's the one, two, three, fourth item down. There's a little Browse button for your plugin folder. Typically, you already have this set up, but just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to do it again here. Normally, I would select the root of my plugin folder so it would scan all my plugins. But to make the scanning quicker today, I'm just going to directly select the Fathom folder. Hit OK. And now you'll notice in my Ableton plugins, it lists the um, free monophonic version of the plugin, of the synthesizer. So everything's set up in Ableton and ready to go. And what I'm going to do is briefly go into Cubase. For those of you that use Cubase, and the procedure is almost exactly the same, but we'll just run through it. It'll take a few seconds. So we'll load up Cubase here and select any old project. In Cubase, same idea. Uh, the menu happens to be under device. In Cubase, it's devices, plugin manager. And at the very bottom, we're going to hit the plus sign. Again, normally I would select the root of my plugin folder so it would scan all my plugins. Today, to make things quicker, I'm going to select Fathom itself, so I'm only going to be scanning one plugin. And I could only use one plugin if I did that. Hit OK. And then there's this little scan button in Cubase that tells it to do the scan. And as luck would have it, it finds one additional plugin, and that happens to be this one right here which is what we want. So let's close the device dialog. In Cubase, to add the synthesizer 
to a track so we can use it, we go to this in the VST instruments um, section here. We go to rack instruments, and since we scanned the plugin folder successfully, it's now listed here. So all we have to do is select it. Do we want to add a new track? Yes. And by default, Cubase brings up the plugin interface itself. So we're now looking at the front page of Fathom Synth. So that's how you set it up in your host workstation. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the synthesizer to a new track and start using it. Thanks for watching.